Hey, Marcus. Um, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Um, I talked to uh, Judah Parker over uh, the summer, and he talked about how, um, you know, the you know, Polynesian influences, you know, when people, what he said is made it big, everyone in the Polynesian, you know, tradition wants to talk with them and get to know them. Have you had any instances of people coming up and talking to you, and have you been able to learn from guys like, I don't know, Manti Teo and other Polynesians? Yeah, actually, um, when I went home this first or this time around, uh, I got to meet Manti for the first time, and um, you know, sitting down and talking to him a little bit, uh, he talks to me a lot about the Heisman and um, you know making that next step into the NFL. And um, you know, his biggest advice is just stay true to who you are and 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 what you represent. And um, you know, especially as a Polynesian player, um, there's a lot of pride in where we come from. And um, you know, for us, we always want to represent uh, home in the right light. So. If we kind of keep that in mind, you know, we'll always kind of be in the right place. Marcus, you look bigger. What Thank have you, you been doing over the last uh, six, eight months physically? Was that one of the things that you wanted to do before you try the next level was develop your body a little bit? And, uh, and specifically, what have you been doing? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, been a focal point for me. Um, being able to gain a little weight uh, will help me in this college game and, and uh, in the future as well. Um, but I mean, it's all been Coach Rad and, and the strength and conditioning staff. Um, I've just been doing all the workouts and, and uh, keeping up with them. So um, for me, it was just continue to work hard through that aspect and um, you know just continue to improve. Yeah, definitely a lot of lot of lifting and uh, you know running, keeping that speed. You know. It's it's hard when you when you gain weight to, to maintain your speed, but with Coach Rad and this conditioning staff, you know they do a great job of mixing both and, and being able to balance them. How much of the unfinished business kind of idea played into your factor to return? It wasn't uh, a huge factor. It was pretty minimal um, for me. I wanted to come back and, and get my degree, uh, come back and enjoy another year uh, with the guys, and and just kind of experience college for another year. Um, that whole unfinished business was, you know, didn't really play a factor into why I came back. Yeah, Marcus, um, could you talk about how important it is for the success of the offense for the quarterback to be a running threat? And looking back, Stanford, Arizona, sorry to bring it up, but <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> uh, if you had been totally healthy, do you think the games would have gone differently? Um, for your first question, I think you know any having a dual threat quarterback in any offense um, adds another dimension. I mean, if you have a guy that can run when everyone's covered downfield, um, I mean that's probably one of the biggest pet peeves of a of a defensive coordinator is, is letting a quarterback run for 10 or 15. So I think in that aspect, I think any dual threat uh, you know makes an makes an offense that much better. Uh, but particularly in our offense, you know it's it's really key uh, for our for our zone read. Um, being able to have basically essentially, essentially an, another blocker with the quarterback by reading a defender, um, you know, adds, adds a little help to, to the offensive line and to our offensive schemes. So um, with that being said, you know, injuries happen. Um, you know, we're not going to let my knee be an excuse for what happened last year. And, you know, only, only all, th all we can do is just learn from it and, and get better from it. Marcus, you could have obviously uh went to the draft last year. Um, this year, they implemented a new change where underclassmen, they're only allowing five draft reports for underclassmen per school. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I'm not too exactly, t I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think, is that in regards to the NFL evaluation? Oh, OK, OK, OK. Yeah, um, since this is the first time I really know about it, it's, that's going to be interesting. Um, because if you're not allowed to really know where you're sitting at, uh, especially if there's a guy um, that's between a third or fourth round pick, you know, and doesn't isn't too sure where he's going to be at, um, you know, it, it'll make that decision probably a little tougher. Talk a bit about uh, Thomas Tyner and what he can potentially bring to the uh, offensive attack this year. Thomas is definitely an incredible athlete. Um, to be able to have that guy in our backfield is really going to improve our offense. Um, it's going to give us, you know, different schematical things that we can do with him. Um, but I mean, first and foremost, he's a he's a great running back, and um, you know we're we're excited to see him this fall. 
Marcus, are you getting the sense that this is your last fall camp and this will be your last time doing one thing or one, last time doing another? Have you started, has that started creeping in? Um, no, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, you know, people have talked to me about that a little bit. Um, but for me, I still have a long season to get through and, and still have a decision to make at the end of the year. Do you put that off then or are you allowing yourself to feel these, yeah, if I'm, there I'm is put, any sentiment? Yeah, I'm definitely just kind of putting it off. Um, that, that way I can just kind of focus on what I have to do and, and then continue to improve with the team. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll have a decision at the end of the year to make and um, we'll, go, we'll go from there. I guess it's my, my Marcus. Uh, third, third year as a starting quarterback, uh, the leadership role has been something that you migrated into. Uh, how is it going to be different for you this year? And just what's, what, thinking back to your freshman year and your first time through camp, what, what, what sticks out most in your mind as the, as the lesson that was perhaps diff, most difficult for you to pick up on? Um, in terms of leadership, um, you know, as a freshman, you know, as a redshirt freshman, I could rely on guys like Kenyon and, and Dion Jordan to be those guys that uh, really spoke up and, and made a difference uh, and influenced others with their words. Um, now I kind of have to step up and be in that role. Um, I really have to assert myself, uh, make sure that I'm, I'm getting on guys, making sure that, you know, our receivers and, um, you know, really everybody on the, on the offense is, is doing the right thing so that we can be on the same page for fall. So. For me, it's continuing to assert myself, uh, you know, continue to speak out um, and be vocal. Uh, kind of piggybacking on the whole dual threat and staying healthy idea. Um, I know in the past uh, they've had quarterbacks, teams have had quarterbacks, you know, get sliding training, you know, from baseball coaches <laughs> and stuff. Have you had any uh, sliding training? I did. Last year, um, actually it was really two years ago, uh, my, my redshirt freshman year. Um, one of the baseball coaches came out and helped me out. And um, for me, because I, I played soccer, so I was, I, I kind of knew how to slide, but it was like getting over the sliding without a, a ball being there, like a soccer ball was, was kind of what I had to get through. So uh, the baseball coach really helped me out with that. And um, yeah, I think I've gotten better at it. Marcus, uh, <clears throat> this team's been knocking on the door of a national championship for a few years now. In your mind, national championship or bust? Would anything less than that be a disappointment? Um, I mean, we have expectations for ourselves. Um, obviously, we want to you know, take it one game at a time. It's been the same mentality since you know, I've gotten here. Um, but we want to take it in and see how far we can go with it. Uh, we want to be able to be a part of the Pac-12 uh, championship game. We want to be a part of that, that playoff pitcher. Um, but for, for you to say a national championship or bust, that's for us you know, that's an outside opinion. And we're just going to focus on taking it one day at a time and, and eventually just see where that takes us. Marcus, uh, individually, what do we, can we expect to see in the terms of improvement that you've been working on over the off season and on the field? Where do you think people will see an improvement uh, individually? And then as a team, since you've been with the team working out, where do you think the team, will, the fans will see where the teams improve? Yeah, for, uh, for me, I, I really worked on my footwork this, this off season. Um, you know, I, I've learned through the last couple of years and, you know, Coach Ross and Coach Helfridge have really uh, taught me that you kind of throw with your feet. So if I have, have a good solid base and I'm able to be in the right body position, uh, a lot, I'll be a lot more accurate and a lot more consistent. So that's something that I really focused on. And, um, you know, throughout fall camp, you know, Coach Frost is going to continue to work on pocket presence. and. Um, you know, the handling of the ball in the pocket. So stuff like that uh, is definitely what I've been, f been focused on. And <clears throat> uh, for the team, I mean, we've come a long way. Uh, we have a lot of young guys, and um, I think they're ready to, to kind of explode out there on the field. So uh, I'm excited, and um, we're really looking forward to it. Marcus, there's been some uh, stuff made, uh, a little bit of stuff one day on Twitter I know about your light academic load, having been a graduate already. And uh, first of all, I think you're everybody's idol for doing that. But second of all, how will that translate to you during a season of not having the heavy academic load that you might have had in the past? You expect more time with film. How will that help you? Yeah. Um, you know, for me, uh, because, I mean, I... I haven't graduated. I graduated in December, so I, 
I have a couple credits that I have to finish up, which I'm taking with, with golf and yoga. And um, I'm going to take another online class and then uh, another kind of SAP class. Um, but with that being said, you know, with the, with the amount of free time that I'll have, you know, that'll be going into being early in the treatment room, you know, remaining healthy, uh, getting stretched out, you know, doing foam rolling stuff, recovery stuff. And, um, you know, along with that will be like film work and, and being able to have more time at home to watch film or, or be around the, the building to do that kind of stuff. So, you know, to be able to have a, a, a little more time for football will, will really be beneficial for me. Marcus, with five starters back, it seems like the offensive line has really embraced the challenge of keeping you healthy this year. Verona said they don't even let you cross the street by yourself sometimes. <laughs> Can you think of any fun examples of things those guys have done just to let you know they're looking out for you? Uh, I mean, every single day, I'm, those guys, are, they're a great bunch. Um, you know, I love those guys. Uh, now that we're going into our second year together, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, Hronis always gives me a bad time about swinging, and swinging a golf a golf club because he's like, I don't want you to twist your back. I don't want you to do anything like that. So, you know, it's, it's all a lot of good fun. And, you know, it's, it's been an awesome couple years with those guys. And, you know, I'm looking forward to another one. Hey, Marcus, uh, you saw a lot of these guys last year. Being a quarterback is sort of a fraternity a little bit. Who in the Pac-12 other quarterbacks sort of catch your eye that you sort of admire? And, you know, you're one of 10 returners, so there's a lot to list. But maybe there's a few of them that you really admire for certain reasons. Yeah, um, I really admire uh, Brett Hundley and, and what he's been able to do at UCLA. Um, he's really kind of transformed that program around um, along alongside his, his teammates. Um, he's, he's a great dual threat guy. You know, he has the abilities to kind of take over a game with his feet and also his arms. So he's one of those, one of those special players. And um, Sean Mannion, I mean, that dude's been doing it for a long time now. And um, he has a great arm. I got to know him a, uh, a little bit at the Manning camp. You know, we were able to spend some time and he's a great guy. I mean, he's, he's definitely humble and um, he's, a, he's a player guy. You know, he's, his players love him. And um, you can understand why, because he's, he's really for his players and, and for his coaches. So he's a special player as well. And, you know, I'm looking forward to watching him this, this season. Uh, you know, Oregon, you know, innovative with their pace and getting good, great athletes, speed and so forth over the last four or five years, four titles in a row, and then Stanford the last couple. But um, uh, what do you think Oregon's advantage still is in this league, uh, Marcus? Um, is it the pace? Is it the precision in which you guys operate offensively? Uh, is it the players? Uh, because it looks like the Pac-12 is a lot more balanced and so forth for you guys to compete against. What do you think your advantage is? Definitely our preparation. Um, you know, we got to give it up to our coaches. They really, they really get us prepared they're, they're mentally and physically. I mean, um, each and every single game, you know, we're going in there with, with what we need to know and, and we're feeling good. And I think to be able to have that and then, you know, have the amount of talent that we have here um, you know, it's a it's a pretty special combination, and um, it's been successful for us, and and hopefully it it will be successful again this year. Thank you. Have a good day.